For this extension, we are going to look at the area of special quadrilaterals, specifically kites. So we're going to use the same idea that we used for trapezoids, which are a kind of special quadrilateral, um, where we're going to divide it into triangles. So for number one, if I put a dividing line right here, we have triangle number one and triangle number two. So, for triangle number one, I have a, sorry, I'm gonna do that different color. Triangle number one, I have a base right here, and then a perpendicular height right there. So, the perpendicular height that is given to us is right here that tells us it has a height of five. Our base, the length across, I can see down here is 10. So for triangle number one, we're doing our base of 10 times our height of five divided by two gives me 25. Now let's do the same thing for triangle number two. It has the same base across of 10 and then a perpendicular height right here of 15. So plugging in triangle number two, our base of 10 times our height of 15 divided by two. So 150 divided by two is 75. And our total area, I am just adding 25 plus 75 to get a total area of 100 meters squared. Number two, same thing, I'm gonna divide it into two triangles, triangle number one, triangle number two. Triangle number one, we have a base going across there and the perpendicular height here. So the base, that length across, is this same length across here of nine. And the height is the same height as over here, seven. So for triangle number one, we're doing a base of nine times a height of seven divided by two. Nine times seven is 63 divided by two gives me 31.5. Now let's do the same thing for triangle number two. We have a base length going across here that's the same and a perpendicular height. So our base across is still going to be 9. That perpendicular height matches this 18. So triangle number 1, sorry, number 2, is our base of 9 times our height of 18 divided by 2. So 9 times 18 is 162 divided by 2 gives us 81. And then our total area, we're going to add these two together. 31.5 plus 81 is 112.5 centimeters squared. All right, last one. Dividing line across. I'm going to identify my base going across of triangle number one and my perpendicular height. So this is triangle number one. The base across is the same as this base across of 12. And the perpendicular height is the same as this perpendicular height here of 14. 
So triangle number one, we're doing a base of 12 times a height of 14 divided by two. So 12 times 14 is 168 divided by two is 84. Do the same thing for triangle number two. We have the same base going across and then a perpendicular height here. So the base is still 12. Our height is the same as this, it's three. So triangle number two is a base of 12 times a height of three divided by two. 12 times three is 36 divided by two is 18. So our total area, we're taking the 84 plus 18 to get a total area of 102 inches squared.